Hi right, folks, Jim Gamier, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for some more TGC2. So they've got Celtic Manor Resort, but this is by Cathalos1991. And what he's done is actually set this up for the, you remember, the 2010 Ryder Cup. I actually got rained pretty badly on the first day, and on the Sunday it got held up as well, and they had to play on a Monday. So he's actually set this up for the final day, sort of singles, pairings, matches, and it's going to be playing pretty soft, as you see. The fairways are soft, the greens are normal, and the green speeds are fast. And we are playing off the blue tees, 7,384 yards, and let's get cracking. Now, I did set this up as a society match, as you've seen there, it's already sort of begun. But there was no crowds, even though it's got the grandstands and that, so I just thought I'd jump that on, just do it as a normal match. So here we go, hole one, 456 yards, par four. Let's have a little scan around. Very nice looking. Okay, let's go up to the driver. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, I don't think we're going to get much run on these fairways because they're very soft. Okay, a little bit of a draw that. That should be fine though. Okay, 285 yard drive. Not much movement on the fairway that. Okay, 179 to the pin. Just drop it down a little touch to counteract that wind. A little bit to the right, at least I put a bit of a draw on it. Should turn just a little bit towards the hole. Gonna be a little bit left though, I think. Oh, that's not bad though. That's pretty good. Go on. That's gonna leave a little tap in for a birdie on the first. K hole two, 605 yards, R5. And also the, the Wales Open was actually held here from 2000 all the way through to 2014. And the year the Ryder Cup was held there, 2010. Uh, Graham, what was his name? The Irish dude. Graham McDowell, yeah, that's his name, I think, if I remember right. He actually won the Wales, the Wales Open that year. That was held in the June, and then the Ryder Cup was in October. I was actually going to say Malcolm McDowell there, that's why I paused. Malcolm McDowell's a bloody actor. <laughs> I got a little bit mixed up there. Hey. Yeah, almost said Malcolm McDowell. I had to stop and think there. I'm Graham McDowell. Day 285 yard drive. And leaves 320 to the pin, so we're never going to reach the green. Just smash a three wood down here. Okay, man, our wind coming in from the right. That should be okay. That should kick over to the right for me as well. Fine. Absolute spot on. It's going to leave a nice pitch in to the pin. Okay, 56. So that's playing about 58. I might just hit this dead because you're going to get that little sort of pitch forward when it hits the, the green. Just skip a little bit forward. There we go. This is up nice for a nice little tap in for a birdie. Okay, hole three. 189 yards, par three. That's Beautiful looking hole this one. I mean, just look at the sun sort of glistening off the top of the wall there. I feel like the way he's got the lighting done. Okay, the pin is pretty central, but you do not want to go long. Okay, we've got the wind coming in from the left. Seven mile an hour, 189 yards. Let's drop that down. 179. Should get a little bit of a run up there, I think, with the six iron. Just put, drop it down a little touch just to make sure. Ooh, a little bit of a slow backswing. Wind should push it a little bit to the right, but then it should turn round. Come on, roll up that. Oh, that could have been that slow backswing. Just took that little tiny bit off it. It was a little bit short. Oh, this is a tough, tough little putt, this one. 11 feet, one inch down. 
Oh, it's not going to turn enough. Oh, just hit the lip. Just hit the lip. Yeah, it's a little bit too much pace in that. Didn't think so as soon as I hit it. Okay, that's a part. A hole four, 458 yards, par four. Yeah, I think this would be nice with some, some crowds dotted around to play in a society match. Okay, pretty wide fairway up here. Uh, we shouldn't have any problem. Just smash the driver. Oh, is that slow back swing again? Should be okay though. Plenty of room in that fairway. Yeah, you're not getting much run on these fairways. 294 yards. That's going to leave us with 154, 156 to the pin. With the AI. Just dropped a little bit of loft on that. Yeah, that's a good hit. That's going to leave us another nice little tap in for a birdie. Hope you all enjoyed the open. That uh, was really good. I mean, I was I was kind of hoping Tiger would have did a bit more. I mean, he sort of started that front nine day on the Sunday with a, like a roar, but. On that back nine, it was more like a little, little meow he finished on. <laughs> but it was good. It was good to watch. It was good to see sort of getting back there. I think the nerves, I mean, you can't really, I suppose, yeah, you can. He's been there, done all that. But I bet he was still nervous coming into the lead, though. I think it just, when he hit that first bogey, he just kind of went to pot after that. the old Italian, Francis Molinari, you did well. That's the first Italian to win the Open. Yeah, it was good to watch. I mean, I seen early and um, Apex Hound, they played the, the, the version of Carnoustie that was out, but uh, I had a look at it. It, had, it just didn't do it for me, to be honest. Uh, props to the guy who um, designed it like but it just didn't hit the right spot for me. I mean, the greens were playing 144, and uh, I just didn't want to. Just didn't want to do a, a golf video on it. It just didn't seem like a proper representation of um, Carnoustie to me. Ah, and talking of that, uh, Cathalos1991, who actually said in the forum that he is going to do a version of the 2018 Open Carnoustie. So. Look forward to that, that should be good. Okay, we've got 158, so it's playing 159. Just drop a little bit down off on the loft. Counteract some of that wind. Okay, nice strike. Got a little bit of turn in it with the wind heading right towards the pin. It's gonna run up for me, come on. Yeah, that's not too bad. That should leave us another nice little short putt with a birdie. Okay, we've gone along pretty well here. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Hole six, 432 yards, par four. Okay, the fairway just come all the way down. The water here. Nice big lake. I hope you've all seen um, Apex Hound playing his um, round with Sean at uh, TGC 2019. That's a pretty nice looking course. Yeah, it was pretty good looking. I mean, I think they said in the video it was a kind of older build from the PC, so there wasn't much difference there from what we've seen in the stress test. But yeah, it's looking nice. The actual, the speed trees looked a bit better as well. Okay, 134, it's playing 135. Gonna hit this dead, I think, because of that wind. Oh, that's a nice strike. Distance, absolute spawn. That should give us another nice little tap in for the birdie.
Hey, hole seven, 207 yards, par three. I just say, look, you see, they've got the grandstands and that there. That would be nice. Just little pockets of um, spectators dotted around. I mean, he only played like first hole to see if there was um, spectators on the society. I actually started recording it, but I've never seen spectators. So I thought, might as well just jump out and do you know, the normal round, as I said. Hey, 207. Let's just drop some off of that. Okay, that's going to be a little bit right of the pin. I was expecting a little bit of draw that. Oh, it's going to be long as well. I put quite a bit of loft on that as well. Oh, where's that going? It's going to be a long putt. That's going to be our first long putt in the, there, the round. Okay, so we've got 36 feet, 4 inches up. There's not much turn in it. A little bit of turn at the end that. Looks like we've got a little bit of movement here. I think it's going to be more right to left, right at the end though. I reckon just on the right hand edge. Oh, I don't know if that's got the legs. Come on. Oh, it's not even turning. Oh, look at that. Inside of the cup that would have been, I think. Hey guys, uh, what I was going to say as well, when TGC 2019 comes out, uh, since we've got absolutely fantastic multiplayer on it now, it's absolutely, it was playing really, really well in the stress test. It's like instant. I mean, the multiplayer we've got now in TGC 2, a bit hit or miss. So what I was thinking, when TGC 2019 comes out, any of you guys that play on PC, I uh, will be willing to have a couple of games of match play, some skins and things like that with the subscribers, if you don't mind. Hey, ho, eight, eight, 434 yards, par four. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Proper multiplayer. Okay, 294 yards. That leaves us 152, 150, <clears throat> 154 at the pin, with a little bit of wind coming in from the about two o'clock ish. Oh, I took too much off that. Well, I think I might just hit this dead. Oh, fast downswing. Didn't want that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to put it way off to the left. That distance was pretty spot on as well. Okay, 26 feet, 5 inches up. It shouldn't turn too much. Oh, and that's just missed. Yes, yeah, missed. Okay, hole nine, 600 yards, par five. Yeah, fantastic, it really is, really good designer. As I said, I'm not sure if I said this at the start, but I will put a link to his channel in the description. I've got quite a few design videos out there for use button designers out there. And he does a really good job. Shows you how to lay everything out, mark everything out distance wise and all that. Yeah, I'm just going to hit it down towards this little hump here. Do a kick left. Is that slow backswing? A little bit of a draw on that. And I'm just going to run over to the left here. Yep. Now 600 yards, so we're not going to reach the green two again. So we're going to be playing up. Quite a big slope. Right to left here. Yeah, this is lovely, isn't it? Playing down the, the side of the river here, in the big willow trees. Yeah, as I said, um, watching Apex Hounds round with them, um, Sean. Oh, that's going to kick left. That's going to be in the deep stuff. Um, I wasn't too, I wouldn't say please, but I wasn't too over 
done with the sort of speed tree when it was in the um, stress test, but uh, I think they've kind of sorted out now. They're pretty good. Okay, 62, so that's playing 64. 76 to 82 percent in the rough. Let's put that up to the pitch and wedge. Oh, this could go anywhere. That's not too bad. That was quite a big slope. It's going to leave a dodgy little putt though. Okay, 17 feet, five inches up. Oh, I just turned away at the end. I just keep saying in some of these videos as well, I really need to take my time on some of these putts. That's a good view that with the sun. Okay, par three, hole 10, 210 yards. Look at that view, isn't that awesome? Very, very picturesque, very natural looking as well. Okay, 210, so that's playing around 202, I reckon. Let's go down to this. The five iron should be okay, I reckon. Actually take a little bit off as well. Hope I haven't took too much off here. Five hours should get a little bit of run on the fairway, uh, on the green. Come on, get up, get up. Ooh, hope that's not a slope. It is, it's coming back. <clears throat> oh, I bet this is coming right back. I should have had a closer look at the green and went past the pin, to be honest there, I think. Ooh, this could be tough. Okay, 25 feet, one foot up. Okay, it's gonna quite a big turn, right to left here. Oh, that was close. Oh, I can't remember which hole it was, but in the, the open today, you see um, Tiger on that shared green. It went way over to the left and you had to actually chip it. <laughs> Little pitch shot on the green. That was TGC2 as it would have been disqualified. Hole 11, 554 yards par five. So we should be able to reach this in two, I think. Uh, we kind of thins down right up by this bunker here, but it shouldn't cause too much problems. Have a look at the green. Oh, we got like a big bevel there, right at the start of the green. Have a look when we get a bit closer. Okay, that's nice. I think that's going to hit us just over 300 yards. 304 yards, 350, 251, we're definitely going to reach the green in two, I think we're going to go the five wood here, as you see, quite a big slope, left and right here, so if I go to the right it should turn in towards the hole and if I hit it straight down the middle, I'm hoping we've got a little bit of draw, we'll hit it to the left, Oh, that's not bad. I'm hoping that's going to hit and come round. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up. Get up. Don't hit the slope. No, that's going to come back, I think. Oh, that was so close. A couple more feet, I think. Yeah, that's coming back. Or is it? No, oh, it's going to stop. I thought that actually would have went all the way back there. Okay, so we're still there with the eagle putt, which ain't too bad. 29 feet, one foot up. Oh, that's nowhere near. Yeah, I didn't even zoom in there. <laughs> You'll get a birdie out of it though. That'll do. 
put it down there. Six under. Ah, look at that. Beautiful looking hole, this one. Yeah, he's done the, the lighting and the, the planting. All fantastic the way he's got that. And trees in the middle of the water there. It's like a little island. Beautiful looking hole. A hole 12, 157 yards, par four. I have to keep correcting my controller as well. It keeps pulling left a little bit when I'm not touching it. I have to just keep knocking the, the stick to the right. I don't think it interferes with my swing though. A157, 158 to the pin. Let's just drop this down a touch. Oh, that's spot on. Depends on distance. Oh, just going over a little bit. That's not bad though. Okay, this is going to turn. Oh, look how much that turned. Oh dear. I hardly touched that as well. Gonna end up with a uh, bogey here, I reckon. Just on the left hand edge. Oh, we get away with it. Nice save. Got a cracking looking hole hitting over the lake. Hole 13, 181 yards, R3. There you have the green look. Okay, we've got a big slope to the left of that. I reckon it will run us right down towards the hole. 196. Let's just drop that down a little touch, can't wreck that wind. Ooh, that's went a bit far. We can put a bit of loft on that. It's going to leave us a pretty lengthy little putt here. 22 feet, 5 inches down. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yes. Nice putt. K hole 14, 478 yards, par 4. Okay, fairway takes a little turn to the right there, kind of a dog leg. I wonder if we'll be able to cut this at all. Nice rock work right around the green now. Are we going to cut this? No, we're not. We're going to have to play down the right hand side of the rough here. Might be able to cut a little bit of the corner here. That's spot on, I think. Come on. Yeah, it's pretty weird if you watch my last video. My swing was just all over the place. The video before that wasn't too bad. And I'm hitting pretty well today. Mind you, in that last video, the, the, the heat was, oh, it was, it was killing me. Okay, so what we've got 199, 205. Just take some off of this. That's looking good, depends on distance. I should run up towards the hole. Oh, a little kick to the left there. Oh, look at this. Okay, 12 feet. Oh, it's not going to turn back. Okay, take a little par here. Seven under. Okay, slightly up here we are. Hole 15, 363 yards, par four. See the fairway chicks turn around to the right. There's the green. 
Okay, let's green that. Yeah, that lighting's fantastic. Did you see the rays come through the trees that it was just going past? Okay. 276. Only about 286. I wonder if you'd be able to reach out with a driver, you know. I reckon we will. Depends if it clips that tree or not. We can go a little bit to the left here. Oh, I reckon we'll make that. And I think the driver possibly could get over that little bit there. Oh, yes. Wind should push it around towards the hole. Bouncing the rough, come on. Oh, yes, that's nice. We're on for an ego. That's not too bad. A 22 feet, one inch up. Oh, blew it. Yeah, my pun's not as been as good as what it used to be. I say, I think I just take my putts too quick. Don't sort of study the green enough. But like I say in all my videos, guys, I'm not here for this score. I'm here to show the course off. <laughs> Okay, what's this? Hole 16, 507 yards, par 4. So it's quite a lengthy par 4, this one. Yeah, he's done a stunning job on this. Really nice. Plenty of room down there. A little bit of draw, it should be fine. Just over 300 yards. It leaves us on a left to right slope. 204. That's playing about 198. 192. Maybe a five inch be okay, I reckon. There's a green. A little bit left to right that. Oh, and yeah. Spin it up. Oh dear, look at that. Hit the tree. Oh, that was not bad. That would have ended up in the bush if it didn't hit that tree. Yep, as soon as I push forward, I knew. Like a delayed reaction in my thumb. <laughs> Spazzed out. Oops, coming back. That's not a bad texture for a cart path. Oh, I said though, I said, I'd like to see some edging around the cart path. Sometimes it looks like it's just been painted on the fairways. A53, so that's playing around 57. That should be okay. Oh, that's a fast. Ah, it's all gone to pot now. And I was just saying my, my swing's not bad this game. Okay, so we'll get away with that. After that dreadful shot. <laughs> we ended up with a par. Nice save. Okay, hole 17 to 15 yards. Par 3. Okay. Sort of want to get on this top shelf here. We don't want to be down the bottom, so we do not want to be short. Day 218. So that's playing about 214. That should be fine. Go with a 4 iron. actually moved that a little bit left to the pin because I didn't want to hit the sort of slope sort of comes round to the right there and didn't want to hit it and get it to kick off to the right I'd rather be behind the pin you're going to leave us a tough putt oh three inches down oh just got it in there Okay, hey, final hole. Hole 18, 574 yards, par 5. A great view off the raised tee there. Kind of downhill. Now, I wonder if we'll be able to reach this green in two. We're going to have to hit over that water. Pin looks like it's at the front now. So it might be actually better just to lay up. It looks like that's a 
big slope at the front of the green. Do you want to hit on that upslope and trickle down into the water? We shall have a look when we get a bit closer. Okay, plenty of room. Let's just smash one. Ah, oh, good strike for the last hole. Yeah, it's going to be just over 300. Almost 310. 309 yard drive. That's going to leave us 272. Oh. That's actually playing about 265. Only well, thing is, you're going to hit this upslope. Don't really want to hit that. Um, I think I'm just going to lay up. That should give. Yeah, it should give us plenty of room. It's downhill, so it's going to go a little bit further than what the marker was saying that. I'll do it. Nice little water fountain out in the middle of the sort of little lake. Day 93, it's playing 96. Let's just take a little touch off. Let's hope we can get this dead right on the hole. Oh, look at that. Top hole. Nearly went in its pitch mark. There you go, guys. What a fantastic course. That's Celtic Manor Resort by Cathol or Cathalos 1991. And don't forget what I said. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. So have a look. Use designers out there if you want to see how he's done it. He's only done it. He's done a few videos on um, design work and things like that. And don't forget, he's actually doing a version of um, the Open, the Carnoustie. That'll probably take him a good while to do though. Don't forget, guys, if you like like the content, hit that like button, and I will catch you again next time. This is a fantastic course, and this is going to get a five out of five. So what do you end up with here? And under, that's not too bad. A few wayward swings, but. That's not bad at all. Now catch us again next time, guys.